In this game, I will be asking a popular YouTuber the price of 10 Yu-Gi-Oh cards. Their goal will be to guess the price of each card as closely as possible. For each dollar away they are from the correct answer, they receive a point. As points add up, the lower the prize. Today, we see if your favorite YouTuber can win the $1,000 grand prize. Today's guest on Guess That Price is... MBT Yu-Gi-Oh! MBT is one of the largest Yu-Gi-Oh! streamers on Twitch and also recently passed 100,000 subscribers on YouTube. He is known for his 10-minute testing series, his part on the history of Yu-Gi-Oh! and history of Jank, as well as his winning personality. Today we find out if he knows his Yu-Gi-Oh! prices. Welcome back to Guess That Price, Episode 6. Today we have the world-famous MBT Yu-Gi-Oh! How you doing, Joseph? Really good! I'm doing really good. <laughs> I'm, um... If you can't tell, he's doing, uh... Not so good. It's, uh, listen, we, we had a lot of fun at Pasadena, you and me. Uh, we probably should have gone to less sloppy makeout sessions. Uh, and as a result, we're just feeling a little under the weather, but not so under the weather that I'm not going to blow everyone else you've had on this tube show out of the water. That sounds good. Uh, it should be easy then because like, you're, you know, Yu-Gi-Oh stuff. So you should know all these, right? Of course. I mean, you know me, I'm a markets guy. I'm a, oh, yeah. I'm a pack opening guy. I have to... <laughs> I legitimately uh, tried to sell a Sprite Blue this last weekend and someone was like, value? And I was like, value? Uh, <laughs> what do you feel like? How are you? What do you feel about, about this? Why, why don't you just uh, give me some money for it? How about that? <laughs> Uh, what do you value it at? <laughs> All right, perfect. So I want to let you remind or let you remind you. I want to remind you of your tiers and of course your lifeline. So the tiers, tier one, two, and three, one to a hundred dollars. Tier two, 101 to $250. And then tier three, 251. There's going to be three of each of those in this quiz. And then one bonus one hanging around somewhere. Then you have three lifelines. So your first lifeline is which tier am I in? So if you say which tier am I in? I tell you tier two, you know, your price is between 101 and 200. $150. Second one will be lower or higher. You pick a number and I tell you if, if the answer is lower or higher than that number. So if you say 200 and it's 150, I say it's lower and then vice versa. Then the third tier is you don't like this question at all. You want a new one. So if you're like, ah, I have no idea. I need to switch it. I give you another question in the same tier as the previous question. So if it's a tier two question, I give you another tier two question like that. I got you. All right. And then finally, uh, your absolute worst answer will be thrown out. So if you miss one by like $500, which a lot of people have done, then uh, it will get thrown out. So no big deal on that. So you basically have four lifelines on your 10 questions. Are you ready to go? Okay. All right, question number one. Here we go. Let's see if you know this one. I feel like this, uh, this is one that I really want to ask you because this is the ultimate rarity of Stratos. We have Elemental Hero Stratos Starlight Burst of Destiny First Edition. Hold up. You said it was the the ultimate rarity of Stratos. I used a bad adjective there. <laughs> yeah, I, this is this is not the cur the best rarity of Stratos, which is of course the ultimate rare. Right. Um, which is of course the Mago Gold Rare. That's the that's the Mago rare. Gold Rare. That's what everyone runs. I hear. Maybe you draw them better. So you know, I I appreciate that Konami keeps printing new Stratoses, but I gotta tell you, um, for my money, nothing's gonna beat the Jump promo, uh, and definitely oh. not the Starlight. I remember I was looking at getting one of these at one point, and when I was looking at getting them, I think they it was like 400. Interesting. When was that? When it first came out? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. I know usually the starlights go up over time, but not always. I'm going to say that this is a $400 card. 400. You're locking it in right off the bat. Yeah. You're saying this is a tier three right off the bat. That is correct. All right. All right. First question, Joseph. I gave you the Stratos, your absolute favorite rarity of it. I knew you would know this one right off the bat. The Elemental Hero Stratos from Burst of Destiny First Edition Starlight Rare is $220. Oh, no. <laughs> no. What it is one that boy. has come down for sure. I was thinking, I was like, this strikes me as one that could have gone down. But how often do starlights go down? I guess because everyone is of the same opinion as you is that the ultimate rare just looks better. It's also cheaper. The ultimate rare, I think, is around 150. So you could buy that for less. It's like, why am I buying this starlight? And I think and, most and people are gold, thinking that. The gold rarity is like $4. You know, that's the, the best. The gold rarity, rarity is $4. And the jump version or whatever, that is still not that much either. So yeah, if anyone's watching nice this rarity. and you want a really nice Stratos, uh, the jump Stratoses are like under 10. They are really, really yeah. nice. And those are like the OG ones. 
ones oh, too. Yeah. So and they they read completely wrong. Like the text isn't PSCT. <laughs> Beautiful stuff. Yeah, that's exactly what you want. You don't want to know what you're using when you play cards. That's exactly how I play. You need, you need so every perfect. every edge you need when you play hero. All right. Listen, if your opponent <laughs> asks you, you get it foreign if you can. All right. Question number two. It's a rough start. You're off by 180 bucks. Also need to mention that if you do get the tier right, like let's say you had guessed in the correct tier, you get like a ten dollar credit at the end. Oh, so you did great. that time. But next time we're looking at it, great it could potentially action. happen. Question number two. We have relinquished from Starter Deck oh. Pegasus first edition. OK, how many of these are there? Uh, there's ten. OK, so relinquished Starter Deck Pegasus. I actually know a lot about. Yeah, that's why I asked you. I have bought this card specifically maybe a dozen times. Uh, it's okay. nice that the first print of Relinquished is as cheap as it is. Uh, unfortunately, I have stopped purchasing it because if you've ever read this card, it does not tell you anything about what the card does. <laughs> the text on this thing is at 0.01 font, and it's got like quotes in it that are like, the card cannot be unequipped for any reason. They're just typing anything on there. <laughs> for my money, the new speed duels are uh, much better, but... The thing that's kind right. of freaking me out here is the first ed. Now, the, the Pegasus starter deck did come first ed and unlim, right? It did. It came in both. Yeah. Shoot. Okay. I, I feel as if the ones I've purchased are unlim, but I'm going to say for sure this is a tier one card. I'm going to say the first ed is probably a little more expensive. So let's go with $15. $15. <laughs> you had that whole thing like, oh yeah, like these, just say, I mean, they might be more expensive a little bit. How about 15 bucks? <laughs> well, hey, that is expensive to me, all right? I get it, but I figured you might have an idea with this one because you run the Relinquish deck and Goat. We played a little beer match at one point. Yep. So I figured you might have an idea about this one. There's not a lot of like prints of this card. It's kind of weird. There's like Dark Legend, super rare, and like kind of weird stuff. So the dual or the speed duel one is pretty nice, but yeah. you said $15? Yeah. Well, you didn't quite nail it. You tripled it up, but it's only $5, but you get the credit. So it's perfect. You're right on. I was going to say it's five, but then I was like, no, that's what I purchased it for. Clearly, it's more than that. These have never gone up. They've literally just been $5 for years. It's insane. So it's, it's, it's in this weird position where like Relinquish is getting better in GOAT. Like it's becoming like a tiered meta deck in GOAT format. Right. And now you can win Konami prizes with it. But this card is just too confusing. The new prints look better. <laughs> they read better. They're nicer. They're shinier. Why would you ever play this one? Yeah, like if you get the SDP version, like you have, as you said, you try to read it it's very very confusing Disastrous. especially like with like goat stuff it's just like it's just wild to try and read that thing and then it's just an ultra rare anyway it's like yeah. not like it's like a secret that you need to play so definitely a weird one all right so you're back you're back you start off rough number two is a comeback so let's bring on to number three let's see how you can do on this one all right pyramid turtle super rare from champion pack two this is hard uh i own a couple champion pack cards total when i was maxing out a reaper format deck uh, Gage gave me the hookup on uh, Smashing Ground. At the time, it was like $30, and now it is not that. It is not 30 anymore, yeah. <laughs> Pyramid Turtle, very playable in Reaper format, by the way. Titular card in Dead Rat. Yeah, I know you like that deck, so I figured you might know this one. Yeah, I mean, it's a champion pack card. It's playable in multiple formats. Edison and Reaper. I can't remember if like one of the champion packs is way cheaper than the others, but I, I imagine they aren't. I'm going to say that this card is probably about, I think it's tier three. I think it's probably about three million dollars. I'm going to say this card is 500 bucks again. 500 bucks. So uh, yeah, you do have lifelines so keep that in mind. So if you want to do that, uh, you want to lock this in at $500. I do. You're sure you want to lock this in at $500. You're saying that like maybe I should. How about this? I'll do lower and higher here. Okay, all right. For what? What number? Uh, 300. I am so glad you asked because this is lower than $300. Oh. Let's say this is a tier two card. Interesting. And uh, let, let's say maybe it's about 150 bucks. Oh, okay. That sounds like a great answer. Let's not talk anymore. $150 on the Pyramid Turtle from Champion Pack 2. This is a super rare near mint. The answer is... One hundred and seventy five dollars. Good guess. Wow. Beautiful. That's very close off the bat. See, the problem is the first time I thought you said Schmiramid Turtle, which actually is a five hundred dollar <laughs> card. Oh, yeah. My God. What yeah, the hell? Point, this card's one hundred seventy five. That seems crazy to me. Five hundred. That that would be more like, let's see, what, what card do we have? Lone Fires around five hundred. So I can see why you'd be in that that ballpark, like some of the cards that are playable in Edison, like our supers. Is there a better print of this or something? Like what's going on? This 
this is the high rarity, I think. So wow. yeah, it's not too bad for a champion pack card, to be honest. And champion pack two is actually not super like cheap or anything. So it's actually a pretty good deal, I would say, for the most part. I hope this doesn't spike it. I, I would like to see more people playing this card. All right, not bad, not bad. Only $15 off after the uh, $10 credit. So question number four, you have two more lifelines. Your worst one, which is the first question, is already thrown out. So you're, you're doing pretty well so far. Let's see question number four. Masked Hero Dark oh. Law Ultimate Rare from OTS Tournament Pack 1 Near Mint. I have tried to buy this card like four or five times and every time <laughs> I talk myself out of it. But the last time I tried was like two and a half years ago. So... I imagine it's gone up since then. Do you remember what it was a couple years ago? Uh, it was like 70. Interesting, okay. And I imagine it is higher than that. Uh, the, the thing about Dark Law is that it's actually got two pretty decent other printings. Obviously it has the structure common, which everyone knows, but it's got like a right. Dusa Ultra as well, if I'm correct. Oh yeah, everyone loves Dusa. Yeah, I mean, I know Dusa is like <laughs> a a sticking point, but it, it does kind of look cool on Dark Law. Actually, I think it might be like the most expensive card in Dusa. It's one I of the most that. expensive. Um, man. OTS tournament pack one ultimate rare master hero dark law. Uh, the tournament packs are, are mm, TP one. All right, how about this? I want you to tell me which tier this is in. Okay, all right. We're using the second lifeline on master hero dark law. Glad you asked. This is in tier three. Whoa! <laughs> you said 70? I was like, uh-oh, he's probably not making the jump. <laughs> uh, been a good couple of years for Dark Law. <laughs> All right. It has indeed. It has indeed. It can't possibly be that far in a tier three. I'm going to say this is a $300 card. $300 on Masked Hero Dark Law. You as the hero player. Not too familiar with your Dark Law prints, apparently. I guess. But uh, not too bad. The answer is $395. So it's oh basically a four hundred dollar card jesus christ uh well i am not purchasing these now i will tell you that yeah you said you were you talk yourself out at 70 yeah yeah we're, we're, we're far away i once pulled like four of these they were 200 like a couple years ago i sold them at 200 and then now they're 400 i was like no well, i probably should have hold on to those but oh well <laughs> the problem with dark law is that he just keeps going up any of the, the, the these stupid idiot hero players, they'll pay anything for anything. Yeah, they're literally the, they're the exact same as like blue eyes and stuff like that. Like they just go up. It doesn't matter how good the, the deck is. Doesn't matter how competitive it is. Also uh, is currently being played. It was in what? The fourth place list at the most recent YCS? Well, that, that'll add to it for sure. <laughs> no, I'm sure. Yeah. Mm, All right. So, so far one tier three, two tier twos and two and one tier one. So keep that in mind. Question number five. This is the halfway point. Let's see if we can uh, get a little. Eh, well, it wasn't too bad on the last one. Let's see if we can nail this one. Question number five is Gladiator Beast Heraclinos Ultimate Rare from Turbo Pack to Near Mint. That is a horrific picture from TCG looks Player, nice. by the way. That's that really I what it you. looks like in real life, too, to be honest. <laughs> um, yeah, so this is rough. I did try and max out a uh, Glad Beast Edison list mm, maybe like a year ago now. Difference is I started maxing it out, and then I saw that all the Glad Beast guys are in, I think, the GX collection. Very shiny, two dollars a piece. I was like, okay, f a max rarity. We'll go a, oh, we'll go a nice looking rarity. So I right. did not purchase this card. I remember it being expensive. Turbo pack cards, of course, are crazy. Um, ulti is a nice rarity. Herc doesn't have a lot of other good rarities. I believe it comes at super otherwise. Secret rare and glass. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I imagine this is an expensive card. Uh, let's say this card is. I, I've been having some luck with with three fifty. I'm gonna go a little lower because it's really only playable in Edison. But it's very playable there. Let's yeah. say this is a $200 card. 200, okay, so you're up, you up at 300 and then you talk yourself down to 200. Okay, I like it. The answer to the Gladiator Beast Heraclinos Ultimate Rare Turbo Pack 2 is $150. So okay. you you went the right direction there. You came back towards it. Only 50 off. That's not too bad. Okay, that's that's not terrible. All right, you're doing pretty well so far. I'd say for someone who doesn't really look at prices at all, for the most part, you're actually doing very solid, I would say. So let's go to number six. This one, I, I when I was researching what to ask you, I was like, okay, he likes heroes. You know, he likes the zombie stuff, all that stuff. I uh, played him in Relinquish. This one, I just, I just ripped because you put a picture of it on your Twitter. Question number six is Red Eyes Black Dragon oh. Prismatic Sea from the 2022 Ten of Pharaoh Gods. Damn, I almost bought this card too. I love all the new prints. I think they look goofy. Uh, they're great. Um, 
I, oof. This card can't be money. I mean, there's just no way. This is a tier one card for sure. Correct me if I'm wrong. I think this had the same pull rates as any other prismatic secret. Yeah, like I personally didn't pull a lot of them, but like, yeah, I think it was just variants. Like it's, it, it seemed like it was about the same as like the DMG and the blue eyes. All right, I'm going to say this card's 10 bucks. All right, locking it in at 10 bucks right off the bat. That is a good one because this card is only $8. So you absolutely oh. crushed that one. <laughs> You're only two bucks off. That means you get the credit. You essentially made $8 back right there. You did really well. I'm, I'm buying this one. I'm buying this one right now. This this guy is so funny looking. Yeah, this the, all of these, like the blue eyes too. I think they just like the goofiest looking artwork. It's really funny. The blue, the eyes, blue look eyes look like- The blue eyes money though, right? It's like 20 bucks or something. Yeah, something like that. It looks like his body is shrunk and oh, his head yeah. is the same size. It's the weirdest looking thing. I don't know. I personally really like it. I saw one at uh, at the vendors at uh, Pasadena and I was like, ooh, maybe. But, you know, no, I, I have nothing to use blue eyes for. I sent in all of the, like these three prismatic, like uh, old school cards, like the red eyes, the blue eyes, the dark magician. I graded all of them just because I was like, just these are case. the goofiest things ever. Uh, if we get some on this it'll be awesome so oh, yeah. now you nailed that one that was like your best guess yet by far pretty good guess on number six you still have one lifeline left you could swap out a question four questions to go so far you've had two tier ones three tier twos one tier three so only one tier three so far you're guaranteed to have two more of those question number seven we have caius the shadow oh. monarch ultimate rare turbo pack three near mint this guy's like a million dollars oh man uh, all the caiuses so caius is in a really weird spot um he is i think based on play rates and win rates the literal best card in Edison. Right. A little skewed because obviously a scenario where you get to tribute Caius, you're probably winning. Um, but yeah. he is just an unbelievable behemoth of a card. Iconic, uh, one of the monarchs that everybody remembers, if not the one they remember. He's just so unbelievably powerful. Doesn't have a lot of good prints. Uh, the OTS Super, I think, is the only other print that I even remotely like. There's like a Structure Ultra. There's like a Gold Rare. He came common once and, and everyone needs him for Edison. So, you know. Right. Uh, What's the want... common? I don't think I've ever even seen that. I'm pretty sure there's a common. There probably is. It's probably in some random deck back in the day. Yeah, I think it is a deck. But I mean, so if you want a shiny Caius, your options are this now the OTS Super, thank goodness, uh, or like a, an awful dog water gold rare or something. So <laughs> I know that this card is money. I thought about pulling the trigger on it a lot of times. I'm going to say this is a $400 card. All right, locking it in right off the bat for that Edison staple. Uh, I think it is It is funny. I know it's like gold series you mentioned. They printed those like during Edison. Like that's why there's so many cards, but like every Edison card ever is in a gold rarity. So yep. <laughs> if you can't find it, you have a gold version like every single time. It's kind of funny how that works, but Four hundred dollars. You're saying this is your next tier three uh, card, and you were correct. It is a tier three, and you're very close. It's three hundred and seventy dollars. Oh, I want one of these so bad. And the 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 way you can justify it to yourself is most decks only play one or two Caiuses, so you get to be like. Well, I'd only need one. I only need to pay to $370 <laughs> once. It's not that big of a deal. How good it would be. You could get away <laughs> I with could like just four. buy a play set for $2 each of OTS, but, but this but. one looks really good. Question number eight. We're down to three questions. You got one question. You got one lifeline left if you need it. This is one that I, uh, I knew I had to ask you this one because this is a meme potentially between both of us. So question number eight is Baron de Floor Ultra Rare from Legendary Duelist Synchro Storm First Edition. How many of each tier do I have remaining? Uh, okay, so right now you've done, you've had two tier ones, two tier threes, and three tier twos. So you have one each for one and three, and then one other one. So as the famous clip suggests, I spent $120 on this card. <laughs> <laughs> I never summoned it. And then immediately after that event, you said you needed a Baron and I yeah. sold it to you for a hundred, taking a $20 loss. Uh -huh. Then you sold the Baron for 80, taking an additional <laughs> $20 loss. No yeah. one plussed off this card. I sold it for 80 on TCG player, so I lost fees too. <laughs> oh man, that is, that is rough. I'm gonna say this is a tier one card. I think it has probably stayed around there. It sees play in most tier builds, but not all. I'm gonna say this is a $90 card now. $90 going for that tier one card. And you did have an idea of the price point because of what we spent. I mean, it probably hasn't changed that much and you were correct. 
It actually has not changed at all from what I paid you. It is $100 now. It's back to that same price yeah, point. Yeah, so, thank you, honey. Oh my goodness. Yeah, that was a, that was quite the event. I don't think I, I used this card like maybe twice in casual duels and then sold it. <laughs> Cause I was like, this thing's getting a reprint at some point. It's gonna be a secret rare. I can't hold on to this thing. Any day now, any day now. Question number nine is Cyframe Gear Gamma Collector Rare Toon Chaos First Edition near Mint. Number 10 is Chthonian Soldier Mattel Action Figure Promo Series 3. Uh, give me a different one than Cyframe Gear Gamma. Okay, so you want to switch out the Cyframe Gear Gamma. You feel that confident about the Chthonian Soldier? No, but I think I can make an inference. <laughs> All right. I literally have no idea how much Gamma is. I legitimately could not tell you any price of any Gamma at all. So you're saying you have an idea about the Chthonian Soldier? <laughs> yeah. All right, cool. Okay, we can swap it out. All right, we are swapping out the Cyframe Gear Gamma. He said, I'm done with that one. I don't know what it is. Let's get a new question. This is the Chaos Emperor Dragon Envoy of the End Ultimate Rare First Edition from Duelist Pack Kaiba. So what do, what do I know about these? One is from tier three and one I don't know the, pri the tier at all. Yeah, you are guaranteed to have a tier three and then you have one random one. All right, well, I feel pretty confident that said is the tier three uh i ooh, chthonian soldier is giving me a ton of pause let's do said first okay i'm gonna say that this said I mean, ultimate rare the problem is that the ioc secret the secret first is already a really nice rarity duelist pack kaiba i don't really know anything about i'm gonna say that this card is $250. All right, $250. We got that locked in. All right, now for the Chthonian Soldier. Yeah, so the problem with the Mattel cards is they are scarce. There are not many of them, but the prices vary from like $5 to like 30,000, depending on what card it is. Hey, so you know the range, five to, to 30,000, you're good. Chthonian Soldier strikes me as a card that is not particularly in high demand for players. Some of the cards that are worth money for collectors in Mattel don't make any sense to me at all. Who would want to collect some of these terrible ass cards? I wonder uh, why is, you know, the Cyber Dragon Infinity so cheap, despite the fact that it's an iconic card. Uh, who knows? I couldn't tell you. Um, <laughs> could have swapped the question. I, mean, <laughs> I guess I could have, but I, I didn't. I think the Chthonian Soldier is probably worth money. Uh, the reason for that is I don't think they made very many toys of Chthonian Soldier because I don't think anyone would be dumb enough to buy a toy of Chthonian Soldier. <laughs> it's a pop five. There's zero. Only five kids got this. I'm going to say Chthonian Soldier, and I'm ready to be just wildly massively wrong this is going to replace my worst answer by a lot i'm going to say this is a 700 dollars card 700 dollars on the chthonian soldier okay all right he's going aggressive i like it also what would you have guessed on the cyframe gear gamma just for fun you know i literally don't know maybe a hundred bucks a hundred bucks okay all right time for the reveal for the final i forgot to mention to you that you're like winning money for the for the fans so uh what we'll see how you do there were Thanks to this. Yeah, so uh, <laughs> you you could have won some money for them, but who knows? We'll see how you did. So uh, we kind of forgot about that part. But uh, yeah, all right. Question number nine, the Cyframe Gear Gamma. We're just going to tell you what it was. Uh, not that it matters. You would have said 100. You made a great choice swapping this because it's $345. Oh, 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 good God. <laughs> yeah, I that, that that's why I swapped it. I've never seen what a Toon Chaos CR is worth in my life. Uh, so good thing you switched that one because you did better on the replacement. The replacement Chaos emperor dragon you said 250 dollars for the ultimate rare it's 290 dollars. so you're That's actually pretty close not as bad as i thought all right that is not bad at all and now for the big one the one Ugh. where you went a little risky chthonian soldier mattel action figure promos you were handed one of these and not the chthonian but at the event apparently which yeah. was hilarious yeah. You said $700. That is a lot of money. Would you pay $700 for this card? I mean, I wouldn't. I, listen, <laughs> you're talking to the wrong guy here. I wouldn't pay $400 for my favorite card ever in its highest rarity. I'm going Dusa Ultra all the way. Uh, yeah. I would not pay $700 for this. So, yeah, I, I certainly would not either. Oh. Uh, but if you were going to pay $700 for this card, it wouldn't be enough. It's actually an $800 card. Yo! 
That's not as bad as I thought. No, oh that was insanely God. good guess. I was like, he's going to put, say, like 100 bucks on this. Oh, and no. he said 700. I was like, that was awesome. Oh, thank God. Oh, I mean, it's still pretty, pretty far off. But oh, my God. Like, that's the hardest one because it's such a high number. Like, you can miss it by so much. The the, the Mattel figures, uh, they, they really do range in price from, like, really iconic cards at, like, $40 to, like, yeah. this card you've never heard of for 10000 because of the way that the ratios work. I think it's the Motel figure three because they I think those are the hardest ones. So this one being series three, I think is why it's so expensive because that there's no other explanation. Like the Chthonian soldier, like who wants that? You know, <laughs> makes no sense. All right, let's add up and see how you did total and we'll see what you won for the giveaway you didn't even know you were playing for. Yeah. So the way this works is uh, it's based on percentage points away from how much you missed the total. So the total number of money that you had in this entire, you know, all the questions, you threw out some, you added some others, but all of the cards I asked you were worth $2,513. Mm -hmm. So if you are within 1%, you're gonna win $1,000 for the giveaway for the fans. If you were within 5%, you win $500, which is what Gage did. He is the best so far. And then if you're within 10%, it's 250. And then within 25, you get 100. And then within 50%, which hopefully no one does worse than that, $50. So congrats on your $50, chat. <laughs> yeah, everyone be happy about 50 bucks. All right, you missed. All of yours were off by a total of $352, which is actually really, really good. That's not so bad. That's not bad at all. Then you had your eight questions were in the right tier. So you get to subtract $80 from that. So you're at $272 now. So if you put that into the 2,500, you are so ah. close to being $250. You were 10.82%. That's actually the second best we've ever had so far. That's first off. <laughs> Shocking. First off, this guy, you could say you don't know prices, but you do apparently. We really threw on the first question. That is, oh gosh. Well, that it didn't matter because you threw that one out really. But if you had been close on that when you throw, would have thrown out the 100, you would have been in the $250 range, I think. Yeah, yeah. So that was still extremely impressive. Like you beat out Simo, you beat out uh, Pokerev. I mean, that, that's not that great, but, and then uh, Tom Box in the last episode. So you've done pretty well. All right. That's good. How you feeling? How you feeling? I'm feeling good. I I feel excellent. I feel, if if anyone would like me to sign a, a Mattel figures three Chthonian soldier, <laughs> I mean you know where to find me. I'm not gonna do that though. If anyone ever owns that card, then they have to get it signed by you. It just no. it just makes sense no, because no, no, no. you knew the price right off the top of your head. So I mean uh, having a, a MBT signature on it, that probably make it like ten thousand dollars. Let me ask you this: so. Have you ever seen Chthonian soldier and I in the same room? How do you know that I am not the Chthonian soldier. That's a great point because I can I can say definitively I've never seen you and the Chthonian soldier in the same room. So unless someone at an event had one and I didn't see the Chthonian soldier and it was in there somewhere. But all right, pretty good, Joseph. Uh, I'm very, uh, very impressed. That was very good. Do you have anything to say before we head out? Yeah, um, <clears throat> if you want to see more guessing things, you know, related to card games, you actually can head over to Simo's channel where Ruxin is featured guessing things related to a card game. That is crazy. I am featured starting uh, tomorrow as of the recording of this. So I just got dropped on the Patreon. So I'm on there. So we'll see how I did compared to Joseph guessing prices. I'm just guessing cards. So we'll see how that went. Yeah, yeah. I, I The only other thing I can think of to say is, you know, I hope that everyone in the comments has a nice day, I see. <laughs> All right, we couldn't leave without that, that one. Joseph, thanks again for being on here. Thank, and you just did really well for the chat, or the, uh, the comments, I should say, because we're not live. But yeah. I appreciate you guys watching. If you guys enjoyed it, make sure to check out the other videos on this playlist. We have five other videos before this, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.